So this question is a simplified question. Again, I noticed that or I know that before even reading the question simply because it is one, two, three lines long, right? In this case being about one and a half lines long. And I see an inequality. Um, sometimes you may see an equation, uh, but I see an inequality here that I can tell can be simplified. So the process with simplify questions is that you want to take whatever's provided in the question, simplify it as much as you possibly can, and then the answer should be pretty evident. If not, um, then you look at the answer choices to determine the best answer. So I'm going to take this 3x minus 5 greater than or equal to 4x minus 3, and I'm just going to simplify it. So to do that, I am going to subtract 4x from both sides. And I'm going to add 5 to both sides, right? So I get my x's on the left. So in this case, I have negative x. This is now gone. This is greater than or equal to. This is now gone. And then negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. Now I am going to divide by negative 1. So I get a positive x. And if you recall, anytime you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, the inequality direction changes. So instead of greater than, it's now going to say less than or equal to, and I'm going to have negative two. So now I've simplified everything here. Now the trick is, you know, I'm not done. I still need to make sure I read the question. I just have some sense of knowing that now X is less than or equal to negative two. So now I'm going to read the question. So the question says, which of the following numbers is not a solution of the inequality? So Given what I just found through simplification, basically everything less than negative 2, right? So everything this way on the number line, right? Negative 3, negative 4, so on and so forth, negative out to negative infinity, would be considered a solution. Everything to this side, right? So negative 1, 0, 1, out to positive infinity, all of these would not, so I'm put a big X, none of those will be a solution. So let's look at the answer choices. Negative one for choice A. Well, negative one is on this side of the kind of dividing line at negative two, um, making it greater than, than X, which is not what we want. So we found it right away. Our answer must be choice A. And even if you wanted to check the others, all of the remaining answers all lie on this side of our dividing line, right? They're all less than negative two.